there's one thing that I have a lot of experience in, it's, it's low back pain. I've had a lot of low back pain throughout the years. When I first got into exercise, I went and tried to become a sprinter to improve my 40 time and get into football in high school and freaking threw out my back, could barely walk. And a lot has to do with me sitting in front of a computer all day long, playing StarCraft and video games, PlayStation, you know, this is back in like before the 2000s. And that's all I would do, you know. I, I was a computer nerd. I was the first person to get a CD burner in my high school. That's kind of what I am. And um, decided to get in shape. And I wanted to learn how to run and, and conquer it. Well, lower back pain became an issue. And basically a lot of stuff that I've done throughout my little fitness career of working out for myself, I've I've got back pain has been kind of been my biggest problem. And every time I push extra, extra hard, I would, uh, I would hurt myself. My hip would bother me. And actually what I learned was that my lower back pain had more to do with my hips than it had to do with my lower back. Uh, and I have a good understanding about it. And my psoas, iliopsoas is tight. Hip flexors are tight. I'm sure you've heard this before. My glutes are weak. But sometimes it doesn't really explain anything. And when you pull something, you don't know what to do. And I've hurt my lower backs enough times uh, to know what I can and can't do for myself. And for you, it's going to differ. But let me tell you this. If you want to work out and you have lower back pain, that's probably the best thing you can do. You don't want to do nothing, if that makes any sense. You don't want to stop exercising. You don't want to stop moving. You are definitely going to have to modify some stuff. Like for me, I couldn't sprint. I couldn't do big arch bench presses. I could do incline presses because I wasn't flat on my back. Uh, because when your feet are on the ground, it make, sometimes they make your back excessively arched, which can push you into hyperextension. I couldn't, uh, walking up hills was pretty good. That helped for me. A lot of isolation, bodybuilder type stuff. Squatting was kind of out of the question. I could squat. I just had to be careful. Like recently when I hurt my back, I did a, I did box squats. I box. I actually squatted on a high box. I was barely squatting. The, I wasn't even squatting the parallel. And I would just squat with like a kettlebell, like a goblet squat. And these are movements you can do. I can do some sit-ups. I can do some, I can do leg lifts because that shit would hurt. Uh, Pull-ups, uh, not really because I'm, I just would hurt my back. I could feel it. And uh, interestingly enough, I could do deadlifts. It's the last time that I hurt myself. Anyways, I, anyways, I've hurt myself so many times in my lower back that, you know, you can just, just you can chalk this up to really bad form, bad technique. You can blame it on poor lifestyle from being a teenager, whatever the case may be. But I'll tell you my experience is that you just have to move. There's like no way around that. If you don't move, it, it's going to get worse. It's going to take longer to heal. Actually, it won't get worse, but it'll take longer to heal. I guess you just have to have the the patience and the self-discipline not to do more than you should and how do you know that you won't know until you actually try uh, because you know when I hurt my back on doing that 315 squat a few weeks ago I hurt it again a week after uh, about four days after my meet doing some light deadlifts and I pulled it and it was irritating and every time I sat down and got back up I would feel it but it was gone after four days and I was able to resume heavy deadlifting on, mon on Monday and I'm fine you know am I close to a catastrophic injury who knows you know, all I know is that I'm strong and I feel good and, and sometimes I feel stiff. There's a lot of issues that I have with my, my back. That's the reason why I do all these mobility videos, why I talk about Kelly Starrett and the mobility wad, because a lot of that stuff has really helped me. It's the reason why I'm where I'm at today. This is the reason why I see a lot of people at the gym see me stretch a ton. I'm stretching when I'm with my clients, I'm foam rolling a lot. I do all this stuff because I want to keep doing what I'm doing. I want to get better at what I'm doing and I can't do it if I move bad. And the only way to fix this is to move. So, and when you hurt yourself, the best thing you can do for yourself is to move. Move around, walk. The worst thing you can do is sit down because understand when tissue gets irritated, uh, like trauma, like your lower back, for instance, SI joint, whether, whether it may be, you can't, you can't walk, you can't stand up. The best thing you can do is walk, you know, and if that hurts, I would still work around it as best you can. Maybe use a bike, you know, get some muscles going, get some blood to the area because if you don't put blood to the area it's going to take longer for the tissue to become normal because what happens too is if it's if it's a really bad like low back pull or something uh what's going to end up happening is you're going to freaking um what are you going to do you're going to it's going to get even more stiffer and it's going to get very tight and then that will increase the likelihood of you hurting it again especially when you start to resume back to normal working out so you kind of want to stay as loose as you can which means a lot of stretching a lot of foam rolls just a lot of movement but then of course most importantly don't make the problem worse and you really won't know that until you experiment a little bit no one can really tell you if you talk to a doctor they'll say don't do what hurts you know and it's, it's the same thing i'm saying to you so anyways i hope that helps you out if you have some back problems you know please feel uh free to share your experience because i you know i'm i really resonate with those kind of people because you know, I, I suffer from it. It really sucks. And I, I remember I, I would hurt myself and I would just stop working out for two weeks or a week and a half. And it just would make things worse. And I just find the sooner I get out and start moving around, 
the better, no matter how much pain I'm in. If I just walk around, move my legs, if I, if I couldn't freaking do any walking or I couldn't do any squatting, I would freaking just do some sit-ups or crunches. I would do some planks. I would lie on my back and just lift my legs. Not, not even leg lifts, like lift one leg at a time, just doing some like some hip flexor exercises just to move around because you got to move. The human body is designed to move. It heals faster when it moves. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.